Hi class, Professor Smith here. I'm going to be doing a movie on sketching the graph of a tangent or cotangent function problem type 1. In order to graph this function, we need to find the quasi-amplitude, the period, and the phase shift. In this particular case, we don't have a vertical shift because we do not have a value added to the tangent function or subtracted from the tangent function. So to find the quasi-amplitude, we're going to take a look at y equal to negative 3 times the tangent of x minus pi over 2. So I'm going to use math type to capture what I would be writing on paper. So now that I have math type opened up, we can find the quasi-amplitude. That's the coefficient of the tangent function in absolute value. So we're going to write that as 3. The period is given by pi over b rather than 2 pi over b. And b is the coefficient of x. So in our example, the coefficient of x is 1. So it's going to equal pi over 1, which is just equal to pi. The phase shift we find by setting the argument x minus pi over 2 equal to 0. And when we set that equal to 0, we add um, x uh, pardon me, pi over 2 to both sides. And we have x is equal to pi over 2. So our phase shift is x equal to pi over 2. For the tangent function, we take half the period on either side and before it was the origin. But now since we've shifted it over to pi over 2, we're going to take half the period to the right of the pi over 2 phase shift and to the left of the pi over 2 phase shift. So we're going to take half the period, which in our case is pi, that and subtract that to our phase shift. So we're going to take pi over 2 plus or minus half the period. So we're going to take pi over 2 plus pi over 2, which is going to give us 2 pi over 2 or pi. And we're going to have pi over 2 minus pi over 2. And pi over 2 minus pi over 2 is just going to equal 0. So we're going to have vertical asymptotes at x equal to pi and x equal to 0. The graph is going to go through the midpoint, which is going to be the phase shift, which is x equal to pi over 2. Now that I've gone out to Alex, I've drawn the two vertical asymptotes at x equal to 0 and x equal to pi. I know that it crosses at the midpoint or halfway in between. I know for the tangent graph, it always goes up on the right. So in this case, it would go up 3. However, because it's a negative 3, it reverses. So instead of going up 3 on the right, we're going to go down 3. And similarly, when we substitute in here um, on our quarter point to the left, instead of going up, I mean down 3, we would go up 3. And then we can always check by plugging in this point here, which is 3 pi over 4. So if we substitute in 3 pi over 4, tangent of 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 2 is pi over 4. And we know that the tangent of pi over 4 is 1, and negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So that's why we get the ordered pair pi over 4, negative 3. So then we select the graph. And then we'll check. Wahoo, we got it right. So let's do another graph. And in this example, we have not the tangent function, but the cotangent function. So again, we're going to find the pieces that we need, which is that quasi-amplitude and the phase shift. Again, b is 1, so the period is going to be pi. So now that I've opened up math type, we have y equal to 3 halves cotangent of x plus 3 pi over 4. The quasi-amplitude is 3 halves. The period is pi over b, and since the coefficient of b is 1, we have the period is pi, as we stated earlier. And the phase shift is by setting the argument x plus 3 pi over 4 equal to 0. 
So we're going to subtract 3 pi over 4 from both sides. So we have a phase shift of negative 3 pi over 4. So it turns out the vertical asymptote, unlike the tangent, is going to occur at the phase shift. And then it's going to also occur when you add the period to the phase shift. So the vertical asymptote is going to occur at x equal to th minus 3 pi over 4. And then this next one's going to occur when we add 3 pi over 4 to the period, which was pi. Getting a common denominator, we rewrite that minus 3 pi over 4. Stays the same, but the pi becomes 4 pi over 4. And then when we have minus 3 pi over 4 and 4 pi over 4, that gives us 1 pi over 4, which is pi over 4. So the second asymptote you obtain by adding the period to the phase shift. Before, we would just add the period to 0, and then we just knew it was the whatever the period was. But in this particular case, since it's shifted over 1, we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and graph our two vertical asymptotes. So minus 3 pi over 4, that's where we shifted and then pi over 4, that's where we added the period. So here's minus pi over 4, minus 2 pi over 4, minus 3 pi over 4. And then we're going to go to pi over 4. So those are our two vertical asymptotes. It's going to um, cross in the middle and uh, the cotangent, it goes up on the right. Pardon me, up on the left. So I'm going to go up to that quarter point. I'm going to go at that quarter point, I'm going to go up three halves. So one half, two halves, three halves. And then at this quarter point, I'm going to go down three halves to negative three halves. And then let's just check it and just to make sure. So let's plug in a zero. So if we plug in a zero for x, we're going to get the cotangent of 3 pi over 4, and the cotangent, where's 3 pi over 4 if we look at an axis? So, 3 pi over 4, pi over 4 is in the first quadrant, 2 pi over 4 is on the 90 degree, 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant, and the cotangent is negative there, so you're going to get negative 1. And negative 1 times 3 halves gives us the negative 3 halves. All right, so we'll click our little graphing tool. And there we have the graph of cotangent. So remember, the cotangent crosses at the middle point, And it goes up on the left and down on the right. So if this were a negative 3 halves, it would be reversed. You would go down on the left and up on the right. All right, so I hope this movie on sketching the graph of a tangent or cotangent function problem type one was helpful. That's the one with the phase shift.